Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. Um, just a little quick little share for you guys. Um, just a little tip actually, it's not even a project. I wouldn't call it a project. Um, more like a little helpful tip. Um, just something that I was kind of fiddling with. Um, woke up today, uh, decided to stay home we had a really really long night um as i mentioned yesterday in some videos uh tropical storm or hurricane arthur or tropical storm arthur whatever it's down to now um went crazy up here in this area of new york where i'm at and needless to say those of you who have been following my channel for the last three years knows that where I live when you sneeze loud enough the lights and the electricity and the power goes down so last night um, the power went out again um, due to the storm and we had no power for about seven to eight hours uh, my daughters my twin daughters are 14 and even though they're 14 they're like four years old in the dark so they were a little hot mess last night they didn't want to go to sleep they were scared of the dark um, they were up all night and they kept coming downstairs we're bored we don't know what to do oh it was just it was something and of course my husband couldn't sleep either because there was no AC, there was no fans, no electric. Our generator did die um, again last night and now he has to go buy a new one. And even, you know, where we live, the water runs by electric. The stove is electric. Everything is electric. So when our electric goes down with no generator, we're basically... Um, back to the Middle Ages and even with a generator the generators that we get are not powerful enough for the water they will turn on the lights and the stove and the refrigeration but as far as taking a shower using the bathroom washing dishes washing clothes that's not gonna happen um, our water pump is electric as are all the water pumps in this area and it is it, it was just it was a long night so I am a little bit out of it and I didn't have any crafty mojo so I decided today to just catch up on some videos of some friends and put together do some cleaning and put some packages together that I need to have um, or start getting them together that I need to um, send out soon and while I was doing this, I realized that I have run through all my goodie bags. And goodie bags are little bags that I like to put little goodies in. Uh, just to make the presentation pretty and nice. I usually recycle a lot of the bags that I get from other friends. Either Happy Mail or Rex or both. Or sometimes packaging from um, certain vendors and manufacturers. Um, if the packaging is cute enough, I will save it and repurpose it and use it. But I ran, I ran through all my stash. While I was cleaning and organizing, though, I did realize I have a, not a lot anymore because I've been running through them also. But um, I have some papers that I purchased years ago when I first started scrapbooking. And maybe you have too. And some of those papers were very lightweight. And this is an example of one of them. So is this one. Um, they're not like copy paper, but they're not what I call cardstock papers. And, um, you know, knowing what I know now, 10 years later, um, when I do layouts, I do love my cardstock. I like the heavyweight paper for my layouts. Um, but one of the things that I noticed is I either have one or two sheets left of a certain kid or a pad or I bought the papers online and I didn't read the weight and I wasn't too happy with the weight. I thought it was kind of flimsy. For instance, this paper I would never use um, as a background for layout. I would use it in a layout um, as part of the layout, maybe on top of um, my cardstock, my heavyweight cardstock. But I wouldn't do a layout 
on this per se like I wouldn't add to this and you know my layouts I love to layer and layer so it would be way too heavy well I have quite a few papers in my stash not a lot like I said I've gone through most of them uh, for envelopes art mail or um, but what I did do was I started making my own envelopes and when I was making the little envelopes I got it in my head to play with my Martha Stewart um, scoreboard and create little designs on the envelopes now I don't know if you can see this but um, and then I'll just tuck in some goodies in here whether they're die cuts stamp images that I want to share maybe even a little present like a little stamp um, and you can make them whatever size you want you can use leftover scraps to do this um, see how nicely that fits you can seal it you can put a button you can embellish them however you want um, so I just started uh, oh see I am so out of it guys I haven't slept yet I think after this I'm gonna go take a nap <laughs> um, I'm gonna try anyway now that the electric is back up see on this one I did vertical lines and then I left spaces they don't have to be perfect um, for this one I also did um, vertical lines as well and this is a little bit smaller the bag um, I call them little goodie bags for this one um, it was even a smaller scrap piece of paper than the others um, I did them going vertically and I hope you can see those lines there and I just think it adds a little touch of um, cuteness um, for presentation to give um, goodies in or whatever even um you can even use this for a card a six by six card to mail out and this one I actually got a little bit funkier and I did vertical and horizontal lines and it gave it sort of a checkered look and I sure do hope that camera is picking that up so let me tell you how I let me share with you and show you not tell you I am so sorry like I said I am totally out of it today I wanted to create one with you really quick um, on video and usually what I do is um, I decide which way my envelope is gonna go and my envelope is gonna go this way and then I just start playing with my stylus and this stylus was um, gifted to us to me um, by D from Diamond Dice and it's to create my flowers but I also use it on my um, scoreboard um, so I think for this one I might just do one inch increments because there is a lot of stuff going on with the design already so then what I'll do is I'll just go and use the paper all the way down into one inch increments and I'll just go all the way down And this is great for using up scraps, um, whatever you have in your, if you're like me and you're a layout maker and you have a lot of papers in your stash that are not very sturdy, but you didn't know that going into it, this is a nice way to use that up as well. And I think this way I'm going to do half an inch. And then... I did it three times and then I'm gonna skip a space just to be silly and I'm gonna do some more oh oh wait this is supposed to be half an inch yeah and I'll do three of these and that'll be it see now I don't know if you can see that but now all those little score marks add to the design of the paper let me just move my scoreboard and get rid of that now like I said these are just goodie bags I mean I'm not really um, so gung-ho to oh this has to be perfect that has to be perfect these are basically scraps guys and they would have gone in the garbage otherwise 
So then what I like to do is I just like to line it up. I'm not even sure if the lines on the other side are matchy, but it helps when you have all these embossed lines. Um, so that's going to be the back of that. And you know what? I could have used... You know what? Let's go this way. This is going to be the bottom of the bag. And you can just... If I would have used my bone folder... Lack of sleep is making my brain idle. <laughs> and then I'll just fold this. Because there is a really big space. And I thought that was just a little bit too big. So now, the reason I fold these lines for my envelope and I do not emboss them is because then I can't differ differentiate between my embossed lines and my folded lines and I do cut the outside. The outside flaps are what you want to cut to create that envelope. And I just snip off wherever i determined the bottom and the top would be um glued is where i snip so i wanted half an inch on the bottom and about an inch on the top for the flap of the envelope so that's where i'm gonna cut like i said since we're just making little goodie envelopes it doesn't have to be precise um, this is one of those fun projects that you can just get very experimental with and just be silly and have fun. And then you can embellish them after you put them together any way you like. And I do, um, I do um, cut the corners at a slant just to make the folding easy. And then on the flap, the larger of the two flaps, I do use my EK Success Corner Puncher just to round it off so I know that that's the flap and guys they're expecting um, as you can tell my lighting is pretty bad today well that's because it's pitch black where I'm at and they're expecting more of the same weather that we had last night it's not supposed to stop till tomorrow it's been on and off raining all day I just pray that the power does not go out again Right, so then I tuck in the larger of the two folds and I just add some adhesive to the bottom flap and the top flap just goes right there and then I add some adhesive to the smaller of the two flaps because that's the part that's going to hold the goodies inside the goodie bag and if you don't feel that the ATG is strong enough. I don't have a problem with my ATG glue. Um, you can use either liquid or um, the red tape or the score tape or the scrappy tape, whichever one you like. And then I just fold this over to create my little flap. Now, like I said, you can embellish it any way you want. You can seal it with glue. You can use the double-sided double sticky tape, make a few of them, embellish them, and give them as gifts. Um, but I just thought it was a really cool and cute way to add a little something um, to the envelopes. And instead of um, letting those papers stay hidden in our drawers, those nice little lightweight flimsy papers that we might not always used for projects i thought it was a nice way to create some goodie bags and i'm really liking the smaller lines now that i look at it uh, yeah so i'm going to continue to go and um clean up and finish putting a few of my packages together i hope you guys are inspired by this little tip to go on over and create your own little um goodie bags with those papers that maybe otherwise we wouldn't be using in some projects i am totally half asleep tongue-tied and i'm done <laughs> i think i'm gonna go take a little nap um, i hope you all enjoy your holiday weekend um, those of you that are traveling i wish you all a safe journey um, 
I don't I had plans to go to a barbecue tomorrow but like I said um, Hurricane Arthur is kicking our butt and I don't know if that's gonna happen now it's supposed to start clearing up after about 1 p.m. but who the heck wants to go to a park with the ground sopping wet and stuff so not sure what I'm gonna do guys but uh, worst case scenario I can stay home and have some scrappy fun instead hoping that the electric holds up that is <laughs> I wish you all the best have a most blessed day and I will talk to you soon bye for now